Hey guys, it's Otaku Gunso, and this is my yearly installment of me loving on right stuff right now, because yeah, they got their whole holiday thing going on, and I always get like at least two DVDs, because anything more than that would just be pushing it. It's like even if I got all of my Christmas stuff like early in the year and whatnot, and then the only thing that kind of took me last minute was my mom's uh, Christmas present, still, don't want to overkill. But yeah, the only complaint that I do have against you guys, though, gotta be honest about it, is why did you not put season three for Shakugan no Shana on sale? Why didn't you do it? You had season one, season two, the OVA in the movie, but you did not have season three. And I really wanted to finish my Shakugan no Shana collection this year. But anyway, I'm going to have to wait. <laughs> and uh, until then, I will find somebody else to complain to about that. But just because I didn't get to finish my uh, Shakugan no Shana collection didn't mean that I didn't get anything at all. There's always so many good deals that you guys have to the point where it would almost be an insult to not get anything at all. But uh, yeah, <laughs> go figure. I'm going to kick this thing off with this. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, the Persona 4 anime is pretty awesome, folks. And uh, funny thing, I actually got into... Persona 4 about a year and a half ago. My nephew actually recommended Persona 4 Arena to me, and I was playing it like it was going out of style. I played through it a few times and liked the characters and uh, their little storylines and everything like that. And then I played through it in Japanese because I'm always, you know, flipping back and forth. The English dub is actually not that bad, and they kept all the uh, same voices like, in the English dub for the anime, so that's pretty good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I actually did catch a few episodes of this on the Anime Network, which, go figure, Time Warner Fail actually did something right! <sighs> okay, but really now, um, yeah, a lot of love for Persona 4, and a lot of love for the anime, and I can't wait to finish it now that I own it on DVD. Although the best part I will say about this is that I got this DVD, and this is the whole collection, by the way. I'm going to show you guys. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, see that? See that? See that? Yeah. Whole collection right there. Look at that. Look at that. Ah. <laughs> okay, really now. All this costs like $27.99. And guess what it was down from? $79.99. Yeah, almost $80 for the entire thing. Now, if this was DVD singles, I would probably drive myself insane, and I probably wouldn't even bother just for the simple fact that I would literally have to chase DVD singles all over the world, and I don't like having to do that. But um, anyway, this was definitely a super savings, and I don't know how some DVDs cost a lot, but I guess sometimes they do. And if you see a savings, you got to hop on that crap. <laughs> like, you got to really, you know, just like, jump for it, tackle it, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. But, uh, yes. <laughs> Persona 4, the anime, folks. Check it out. <laughs> because I said so. <laughs> Now, next up, and this is actually kind of a throwback, it's like, yeah, remember a few videos back where I talked about Reboot and how much of a throwback that was? Well, I got another little nostalgic throwback to my childhood. Good old Tenchi. Tenchi's universe, to be exact. Um, oh gosh, it's upside down. <laughs> okay, but, um, I had so much love for Tenchi growing up, and, um, this was actually before where I was able to call myself an anime fan because I was still like a little kid at the time so I didn't really know the difference other than the fact that the characters had different names than like other characters in like American TV shows and whatnot but uh yeah Tenchi was one of my favorites growing up and uh it's really awesome that they had this on sale as well this was actually down from 39 uh 98 and I got it for like 17.99 which was pretty good. It came pretty fast. I was surprised, you know, because I got it like last week and it came like in two days or whatever. And it wasn't even like, you know, one of those fast type shipping deals where it's like, you know, you get it the next day. It was just like regular old, I don't know, four day or something. And I got it in two days. So uh, yeah, I can't wait to watch this. You know, funny thing. Um, and it came in a nice little box. Uh, this is the whole collection. Of course, because like I said, I do not do DVD singles. <laughs> so yeah, this is the 
little collection here and oh my gosh that thing feels like it's gonna fall out no oh gosh let me fix it don't fall out on me you got Ryoko over here <laughs> Ryoko is always my favorite and um yeah, like this whole, they give you a list of like all the episodes and stuff. This brings back so many memories right now. I remember like episode 14, No Need for a Rebellion. Every single time I went to watch that episode as a kid, something would come up and I would never get to watch it. That happened like, I think four or five times in a row. And I did not get to watch this episode because of something coming up and I got to watch all the other episodes no problems whatsoever but every single time that episode came up then something would come up and then one time I got to watch it and then the first thing I said to myself is yay I watched all the episodes <laughs> you know and stuff so I was really enthusiastic about finishing the series and all that back then even though I was just like I don't know like nine or ten years old just like you know watching a show on tv just being like whatever but, uh, yeah, definitely can't wait to watch this again, as well as this. I am going to be busy this Christmas, everyone. Yes, Otaku Gunso is going to be all holed up, you know, like, whatever. Watching, yeah, all this good stuff. But, uh, anyway... If you still haven't checked out anything on Right Stuff, now is definitely the time to go do so. I'm pretty sure that they're doing the sale until the 27th of this month, and they actually had more days that they were releasing stuff. Instead of to the 12th, I think it was to, like, the 15th or something like that. I'm not really sure. Because I would get emails and stuff like that every day talking about, like, oh, we're releasing something new, you know, uh, come check it out or something like that. So then... Hey, <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely want to hop on those savings if you can, and uh, yeah, hopefully you will find something good, or two things good, like I did, yeah, <laughs> but uh, anyway, this was me loving on right stuff, just like I always do, even though I had like a few complaints and whatnot, <laughs> but uh, yeah, till next time, folks, bye!